The engraftment of tumors onto the chicken chorioallantoic membrane, or CAM, can be used for studies of tumor genicity, treatment efficacy, or cellular crosstalk. This method permits cost-effective rapid tumor growth in an immunotolerant in vivo setting. Using the CAM model, novel therapeutic approaches can be rapidly tested using cell lines or even patient tumor specimens. The most crucial aspects of this protocol are ensuring proper CAM formation and not disrupting the CAM or vasculature while opening the eggs. On developmental day 7 or 8, when the CAM has fully developed, turn off the egg rotator and place approximately 1 to 3 eggs into the egg rack in the biosafety cabinet. With the lights turned off, place an egg candler against the eggshell to identify and mark the location of the air cell of one egg. Then move the egg candler over the shell to find a large blood vessel network, rotating the egg as necessary. An ideal vasculature will branch near the middle of the egg. Use a marker to trace the vasculature to be used for implantation. After turning back on the light in the hood, use a cordless rotary tool fitted with a silicon carbide grinding stone to drill a small hole in the shell directly over the center of the air cell. When most of the shell has been removed but with white inner membrane intact, drill another small hole where the vascular window will be opened, as just demonstrated. When the second hole is ready, use an 18-gauge needle to gently pierce the white inner membrane over the air cell and vasculature, taking care that the white inner membrane, but not the cam, is disrupted throughout the entirety of the drill.